Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy, and today we'll take a look at everything that's brand new in Android 16 Beta 2, and also what to look forward to. Now over here is the Pixel 9. This one is running Android 16 Beta 2 that was just launched two days ago. This one is the Pixel 8 that is still running on Android 15, so I can show you a few differences. But in Android 16 Beta 2, you are running from your security update that was updated on February 5th, 2025, with your Google Play system update updated from April 1st. 2025. So we completely skipped February and March, went directly into April, which probably makes a lot of sense because uh, this is when the beta program should be finishing with the month of May, when it should be the full platform release for everybody. So if we take a look at the schedule, which I have right over here, we are right now, right there in February, which is Android 16 beta 2. You'll have beta 3 in March. You have beta 4 in April, with the final release being probably sometime in May, which is probably why we have that April 1st, you know, Google Play system update. So let's first head inside of the feedback. So this is giving you some details about this update here. So here is the release notes. I'm not going to cover too much of this because I want to go directly over into showing you some of these brand new features and settings. So this was released on February 13th. You also have the build number that ends with 124.009, uh, security patch of February 25th. And then as you scroll on down, it's giving you a bunch of things that you know you can look forward to. Uh, some of the stuff that you know is only for developers currently, like some of the stuff that we can't play with too much is hybrid auto exposure. They also have precise color temperature and tint adjustments. Uh, better intent and better actions when it comes down to motion photo capture. So if you take a look at this over here, uh, Android 16 adds new hybrid auto exposure modes to camera too, allowing you to manually control specific aspects of exposure while letting the auto exposure algorithm handle the rest. You also have more precise color temperatures and tint adjustments that you'll be able to do. Uh, and you'll be able to see a few of the options right there, talking about some of the temperatures. And then also night mode scene detection, which would probably work with more applications. Uh, and then also to motion photo capture intent actions. So again, a lot of this stuff that we're still also waiting for. Here's your ultra HDR image enhancements as well. Um, but let's take a look at a few things that you're able to notice for differences and changes in Android 16 uh, beta 2. So one of the first ones is a brand new widget. So if you head inside of widgets, what you might notice on the very top is if it was able to show for you, it'll let you know that you can change users from a widget. If you don't see it on the very top, it'll just be right here and it's underneath the option of users. So all you would have to do pretty much is that if you have like an additional user or maybe you don't even have one right now, if you wanted to create another user, uh, you'd be able to make these things bigger. You can make it smaller. So here you can see that I have just a couple of them. You can make them pretty much almost any size you want to. So however you want this little widget to look, you know, you can go through and you can change it. But if you have yours just kind of set up like this, which is pretty much just the normal widget style, you just swipe up and down and this is where you can switch between your different accounts. Now there is going to be a setting that you would have to turn on, which means allow the change or allow the switch between the different users. And again, I can just go right up over here, head inside of widgets, scroll all the way down. I can head right back over here. I can add this in there again, just to make it just slightly more simple. Uh, for this one though, I am going to put it on the second page. Uh, so pretty much now all you'd be able to do is you'd be able to tap this and then it's going to take you back over into the main side of the phone. Now, one of the settings that you will have to turn on is just right up over here. And if you first turn on this widget, you're going to see the screen here anyways which is allow user to switch. So if you turn this one off, you're not gonna be able to switch it, you know, with that little widget right there. So you just wanna make sure you turn this one on and then you go down over here and you can add in users or you can add in a guest, you know, whatever you would like to do when it comes down to this widget. Another brand new feature on Android 16 beta two is your power button or your side key button, whatever you would like to call it. Right now, out of the box, if you double press it, it'll take you over into your camera, which is very quick. But a lot of times, if you have widgets on your lock screen, camera is already one of them, so you can just get into it super quick. So what you can do is you can change what a double press of your side key does. And so all you'd have to do here is you head right inside of your settings, then you head over into a system, once inside of system, you then go into gestures because it does a gesture with pressing a button. So here's your double press of the power button. And this is where you can make it go directly over into your wallet. So now what'll happen is if you double press your power button, it's gonna take you over into your Google wallet. Now, all I gotta do is just get inside of it. And then I got all my cards and everything ready to go. Uh, pretty much right over here, if you wanna take a look at what the settings were there, if you head inside of your settings, you go down to your system, 
You can go to your gestures, uh, quickly open camera, and that's pretty much about it. So instead of you having the option for double pressing of the power key, it just has the option going directly to your camera. So now you have the option to where you can actually have it open something else, else, which is the wallet. And hopefully that means that they'll be able to expand over into more applications and services and tools and such that you'd be able to double press this and do something else other than only just camera and wallet. Now, next up on Android 16 beta two, you have additional regional options that you're able to turn on. So when you go down over inside of your system, for your settings. So you go inside your settings, you go inside of system, you go to language and region. Now over here, you do have regional preferences. So you have temperature and also the first day of the week. But over here, what you have is for your regional preferences, uh, you'll actually have everything all in its own category. So you have your region, so you select the United States or wherever you are from. You also have temperature, so you can switch it between Fahrenheit as well as Celsius, or you can put it as default if you do travel a lot. Here's your system or measurement system. So you can use metric, you can use Imperial, you can use uh, Imperial UK or Imperial US. And then also again, your first day of the week. So pretty much what they added in there was that measurement system between your Imperial and metric. Uh, and then they just kind of separate everything out into their own little categories rather than having to go right inside of here, which is regional preferences. Now going back inside of the settings, what you'll notice is that it is a darker settings screen on Android 16 beta two. So in this screen, they are the exact same, which is you just looking at your dual colors here. So you got like a dark gray, light gray, dark gray, light gray. This is where you have everything all separated. But when you actually go inside of the menus, it is straight up black or darker on Android 16 beta two. So if I put these things even closer, you can really tell over along this edge and even along the top as well too. But pretty much this is all black. Uh, like even the whole black bezel of the device itself blends in with the screen right here. You can see that it's black right there around the bezel. And then it goes to like that dark gray. Also, let's just say that we go inside of like another screen right here. So you can tell the difference. So you can see that this one is lighter. Like the entire screen over here is just kind of lit up a little bit more of a dark gray where Android 16 beta two is just all black. Now going in over into the next little change, this one's a little bit smaller, but it is at least still there. When you go inside of your storage, you scroll down underneath system, it does say Android Bakalava rather than Android 15. So on uh, Android 16 beta one, it still said Android 15 there. This one over here is still sitting on Android 15. So this one is gonna say Android 15 there. But from beta one to beta two, they did change it now to Android Bakalava, which is just, you know, the code name currently uh, for Android 16. The next setting that they have updated, they did place it in a better spot, but they took away a few features. So hopefully they'll come back and revisit this to bring back all the features that extra dim should have. So when you open up your settings, you go to your display and touch, display and touch. You can see right over here, you have extra dim and over here you do not. Uh, in order for you to find your extra dim settings, you would actually have to go back, head down over into your accessibility, and then you have extra dim sitting right there. The only thing though, is that with this extra dim, you have additional features such as the intensity, uh, keep on after device restarts, extra dim shortcut. I mean, you gotta have all that stuff. When it comes down to my Samsung Galaxy device where I play with my intensity, and my shortcut, you know, you gotta have those things there. So you can change how much of intensity that you would like to have as extra dim. As of right now, there's nothing going on with extra dim other than just the toggle inside of the display and touch, which makes sense, but then they took away the rest of these features. So hopefully they'll come back, revisit, and throw in the rest of those features the way it should be. Now the next settings that they have changed is one that's a little bit smaller, which is why it's towards the end. You can find it pretty quick just by going through your wallpaper and style. Other than that, it's through more settings, but you can find it quicker here. You just go to color contrast and with color contrast, uh, it used to be called high contrast text, but now it's called text outlines. Don't know if that's gonna change back or not, or if this is the new way it's going to be uh, listed and described as, but they do the exact same thing. It just happens to have a different name. So if you were looking for high contrast text, it is now just text outlines. And then finishing off this video here, this is one where I only really found it with one application. And that is where if the application colors is too close to the background, they will put a, a uh, white circle around it. So right there, you can see JBL Party Box, Android 15, pretty much kind of blends in. And now uh, they, they created this white circle around it. Because if you look over here, you might not notice that there's actually like a black circle around the colored. Here you can see that there's a black circle around the like rainbow colored circle there. So pretty much some applications may have a white circle going behind it. Um, so this way you can distinguish the icon from the background itself. And that's pretty much everything that I found with this update here, this Android 16 beta two. We talked about the release date. We talked about which beta we're on. 
and what all changes came with this update in particular. Later on, we'll make a video talking about everything that's brand new with Android 16, but as each beta comes out, we will tackle those as they come out first. Hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.